Hi, I'm Erin Davey, and today I'm bringing to you another episode of Cosa Connectors. Here at Cosa Connectors, we're sharing some amazing digital tools that you can use to make art and express yourself. And the cool thing is, they're all free, so right after this video, you can go right now and start using them today. Now, I hope you're really happy with this video, so let's get to the content. Today, I'll be showing you Open Renderer. A self-described tool to create tools, Open Render is built in Kotlin for the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM. The brains behind Open Renderer are the people at the design studio Renderer that's located in The Hague, the Netherlands. I found that it's very lightweight, clean, and intuitive, so it's easy for any creative coder to get started. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. After playing around with it, I find that Open Renderer gives you exactly what you need to develop generative art and artistic applications, no more or no less. Open Renderer is targeted towards intermediate and experienced creative coders. It takes a bit of work to set up the environment and its extensive documentation doesn't hold your hand or give examples. I would usually think of this as a detriment because it raises a barrier to entry but OpenRenderer is rather clear about this fact and takes the approach of not limiting the user in exchange for simplicity. So, if you're a beginner to programming or creative coding, I suggest that you check out Processing or P5.js. That being said, if you're someone who's getting a bit tired of processing but doesn't want to tackle open frameworks yet, you should check out OpenRenderer. To get started with OpenRenderer, go to their website at openrenderer.org and click on the link to their guide. You'll need to have Git, the IntelliJ IDE, and Gradle installed before continuing. The Getting Started section of the guide provides links to Git and IntelliJ, but not for Gradle, so go to gradle.org slash install for instructions. After that's done, follow the Getting Started guide to get up and running with the template that's provided. If you're having difficulty with any step in this process, I recommend re-downloading IntelliJ or Gradle and making sure that the two are linked properly. I had to update both for this process to work. Open Vendor markets itself as a middle ground between processing and open frameworks, and I find it definitely proves itself to be. Using Open Renderer felt familiar to me as Kotlin is designed to completely integrate with Java. I felt like I was using processing, but I had more control over data and access to the JVM. Open Renderer doesn't try to manufacture an environment for me in order to use what it has to offer. Therefore, I didn't feel held back by the framework when I was using it. I can use as little or as much of the API and easily integrate it with other frameworks that also use the JVM. Open Renderer has a pretty substantial shape generation system. There are built-in primitives that you can easily use, but the custom shape creation is just nice. A contour is a complex two-dimensional geometry, and a shape is composed of one or more contours. You can apply the Boolean operations union, intersection, and difference to two shapes, or get the subsection of a contour if you want to only render a specific section on a contour path. You can make some really funky stuff with just primitives. Open Renderer comes with support for many advanced drawing techniques. I'll just rapid fire some to you. There's custom color buffers for text buffers and render targets, projections onto render targets, built in and custom purse processing, shaders, multi threading, playing and writing to videos, headless more, and many more. The beauty of Open Renderer lies in the fact that it doesn't obfuscate its processes to users. It's lightweight, discreet, built to work with existing frameworks, and trusts you with so much power that you can have a field day with creating applications without being overwhelmed by the quirks of C++ because it uses the Java Virtual Machine instead. As it says on the front page, Open Renderer isn't an application. It's a collection of software components that aid in the creation of applications, and I believe that Open Renderer does this very well. All right, that's all I have for you. Again, my name is Erin Davey. You can find me on Twitter at aah underscore -E -E underscore, or you can catch me on Twitch at Cozy Coding, where I do a lot of creative coding streams. I hope to see you next time, and bye bye